classes. I am Coach Lou and this is a Jaguars and Panthers 7 plus class. That is an intermediate to advanced level gymnastics class. Um, Alright friends, so today is the first day of dance week. La, 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 la. Um, I'm really excited for this week. We're going to do things a little bit differently and the whole week is going to be about dancing. So you may not know this or you may not remember, but dancing is also a part of gymnastics. We use dance moves in our floor and in our beam routines, and this week we're just going to focus on that and have a lot of fun learning different kinds of dance stuff. So today, Monday, first day of the week, we're doing a dance skill clinic. So we're going to go over a bunch of different dance moves we use in gymnastics that we use on both the beam and the floor, and we're going to try them out. Okay, we're going to work on those. Then on Wednesday, we're going to do a floor routine, a very classical dance floor routine. It's going to be very fun and very like ballet-ish. We're going to feel very fancy. And then on Friday, we're going to do a cheerleading routine, which is going to be super fun and mix it up a little bit. Cool? So we're going to start today though, like we do every day, my friends. Make sure you have a nice big space and we're going to warm up our bodies. Today, for warm-up, let's start on the ground in a plane, and we're going to do 20 mountain climbers. Ready? Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, keep going, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Excellent work. Now we're going to put our arms up. We're going to do 20 straight jumps. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go. Now we're going to add an arm swing to our jumps for warming up today. We're going to start by swinging our arms down and up, just with flat feet. Down, up. We're going to practice using our arms to help us jump. Keep swinging. And I'm going to add on parts to this as we go. I'll turn sideways so you can see my feet. Now we're going to relevé. Flat feet down, swing your arms up, relevé. Flat feet down. Let your arms help you swing your body up onto relevé. Good. Now we're going to add a jump. So you're going to swing and jump. Swing and jump. Your arms are helping you to jump. Swing them all the way up to jump super high. The other day I accidentally touched my ceiling, so I'm trying to be careful about that. And freeze. Nice safety freezes, y'all. Let's stay with our feet apart. Arms out. We're gonna twist. I'm a little scared. Lifting that shelf. Excellent. And then we're gonna cross our arms. Good. Really gonna wanna make sure we stretch well today because we're gonna be doing split leaps and split jumps. And we don't want to hurt ourselves when we go to do those skills. Let's circle backwards. Yeah. Warm shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And forward. Y'all, one day I'm going to remember that I get really warm once I start teaching because I was so cold so over my hat and long sleeves in my house. But now that I'm moving around, it got really warm. Ooh, it's okay. It's fine. I right, reached out in the middle. Just hang out down there in the middle with your feet apart. Then one arm up, one arm down, and switch. 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 Windmills. Oh, my back cracks when I do this. It feels so good. All right, nice. And then reach and throw. Reach back, throw forward. You should feel your shoulder stretch. They should be going past your ears when you swing your arms out, your back stops. So you don't want to swing your whole body up. We're stretching out our shoulders. Shoulders go above the ears, whoop, and then down. Go ahead and hang. Walk your feet together, bend in straights. Five, squat, and straight. One, two, try and keep your hands on the ground if you can. Each time, try to make your hands a little bit flatter if you can. It's okay if you can't straighten your legs all the way, just straighten them as much as you can. And one more. Good. 
Done. Hang out in that standing pipe. Try to grab the backs of your ankles or knees. And you run back your legs and see if you can pull your face in for three, two, one. Excellent. And then roll up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Excellent. Let's pop a squat. Sit down, make a straddle. Nice big straddles. Straight legs, pointed toes, reach up to the ceiling and reach over to one side. Good. And the other side, reach up and over. Make sure your knees are staying up to the ceiling. Your legs are super straight. Your straddle is as big as you can make it, having proper form. So it's not so big that your legs get cuckoo bananas looking. Legs are pretty and straight, but your straddle is wide. And down in the middle. Trying to be a pancake, please. Looking down at the ground, reaching your arms out as far as you can with your face on the ground. If you're a waffle, that's okay. You can be a waffle, just work your best and try to reach down flat. Excellent, and sit up. Now take your straddle, try to make it a little bigger. And we're going to stretch forward one more time. Oh, it hurts so good, y'all. It hurts so good. You got this. Very good. And so, awesome. Let's shake the legs together. Oof. Yeah. Shake my out. Do some pointy flexies. Good. You're going to grab one ankle, cross it over your knee, roll it around. Hold your ankle foot with one hand, take your other hand and use it to make circles with your foot. Make circles in both directions, please. And then switch legs. Good. Lie on your belly, make a seal stretch. We're not really going to worry about our wrists today because we're not going to be going upside down. We're not going to be on our hands much. We're really going to be on our legs a lot today. Nice seal, stretching out that back. Very good. Up on your knees. One foot forward straight. And a lunge, lunge town. I love lunges. That's my song. It's the lunge song. I hope you enjoyed it. And straighten your front leg, put your nose on your knee. And then slide into your split, keeping your back knee on the ground, your front knee up to the ceiling. I'm going to make sure to stretch out my split really good today too. It's not only going to hurt y'all, we don't want to hurt ourselves doing split leaps. And our split leaps should be as big as our split is on the ground. So show me how big is your split leap going to be. Oh, it's going to be that big? I love that. I love that for you. It's going to be amazing. I love that. And come on out. And we're going to put the other leg in front. And bend your knee forward lunge. So today for class, after we're done stretching, we'll get our water, like we always do. And then we're gonna get a pillow or a blanket. Hopefully you have one nearby. We're gonna, you're not gonna need it yet. You're not gonna need it for the first thing. We're gonna start with some turns. Straighten your front leg, put your nose on your knee. But you will need a blanket or a pillow for the second thing we're gonna do, which is going to be our loops. And slide your split or a towel, really anything you can leap over, any prop you can find. Slide that down as far as you can, taking deep breaths, your back knees on the ground, your hips are square, your front legs pointed, even though it hurts, you're really, you're just trying your best, you're taking deep breaths, you're enjoying splits. I am so excited, y'all. When we go back to the gym, when I see you all again, you're all gonna have perfect splits, right? Because we've been stretching so much in quarantine that you're like, oh my gosh. Coach Lou, look at me, I got the most best splits in the whole world, and I'm going to be ecstatic. I'll be so excited to see your splits. I can't wait. And come on. Alright, let's finish up a quick bridge. Quick bridge, land her back. And five seconds, here we go. Push it up, go for five, four, three, two, one. Come down, rock and roll. Let's get that 
water and then if you need to go get something bring it into the room and then we're gonna get started all right my friends so we're gonna start by reviewing a bunch of different types of turns that we use in gymnastics class some of these turns might be really easy for you some of them might be really really hard for you that's all okay we're just gonna give a few things a try and kind of get to explore what kinds of turns and what kinds of dance moves are fun for us, what kinds of moves are difficult for us, and kind of just start to work on that, all right? And you can always go back and watch the video later or pause it later and re like rewatch a section if it was really tricky for you. So if it seems like I'm talking fast, that's just because I talk fast. I'm sorry, I'm trying to slow down for you. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna start with half turns. Right, he's really, oh no we're not, I completely lied to you. We're gonna start with pivot turns, which I'm pretty sure you all know how to do phenomenally. We use these on the balance beam mostly, but we can also do them on the floor. You make puzzle piece feet, one foot slightly in front of the other. You go up on releve, and your feet don't move, you pivot and pivot. Sweet. Then your feet come down flat, and come down. Your arms are up in crown position, or fifth position. Fingers are in, good, we're gonna just do three sets of two pivot turns. So you go pivot, pivot, that's one. Here we go, releve, and go. Pivot, pivot, one, flat feet, up, pivot. Squeeze your booty tight, squeeze your knees, pivot, down, that's two. We're doing one more time. Squeeze those knees, don't let your knees bend, don't wobble, squeeze your booty nice and tall, tall as you possibly can be. Pivot, and down. A really important thing about doing dance, which we kind of talked about last week with handstands, I think it was last week, is being really tall, stretching out your body. So we really wanna focus on that still with our dance. The longer your dance moves are, the prettier they will look. You might be saying, Coach Lou, I'm very short. I'm a gymnast, I'm a very short person. That's, I'm a kid. Well, to that I say, I don't care how short you are, you can still be tall, be your tallest, cool? All right, so we're gonna add one more thing to this pivot turn before we move on, which is a heel walk. So that means, when I go up on releve, I squeeze my feet together. A heel lock is that my heel burp, is touching almost my back foot, okay? So instead of my feet being apart like this, like a lot of yours are when you do your pivot turn, you're squishing them as close as possible, squeezing your ankles. My ankles are not super strong right now. They're a little wobbly. Squeezing them tight and then pivoting. So when you turn around, your other heel is about to touch your foot, back, and then down. So if I were to come straight down with my feet, they would probably lay on top of each other. I have to make sure I separate them a little when I go back to flat feet. Let's try that three times. Arms up in crown, shoulders pushed down away from your ears, chin is lifted tall, up on belly bay. Squeeze your heels together, your heel walk, and pivot, and pivot, and flat. Again, reach up, tall bodies, hold, squeeze tight, lock your heel in tight as you can, pivot, highest roll of possible, pivot, and down, one more, up, squeeze, pivot, pivot, and down. Amazing. Now we're gonna move on to some passe turns. You should all know the basics of a passe turn, so I'm gonna review it really quickly in case you forgot. I'm gonna start with showing you a right-footed half turn in passe. My right foot's in front, I'm in a lunge position, the same lunge we use for our cartwheel and our handstand. If I'm a righty, my right foot's in front, my left arm's out straight to the side, in second position, my right arm is out in front like I'm holding a giant beach ball. I'm gonna lunge, step forward, up onto releve, passe, arms go up and ground. When I finish my turn, I'll step forward. Everyone just practice a prep like that. Lunge, up, kick, step, prep. Awesome. If you need a couple more of those, go ahead and take them. I'm gonna start explaining the next thing, which is when you turn. You always turn towards that bent arm and bent leg. So toward, if I'm a righty, I'm turning towards the right. This arm meets in, and that's what helps me swing around, okay? So I lunge, and up, and spin. Awesome. I think you all know how to do that. Lefties will go the opposite. I'll demonstrate one. My left leg in front, left arm bent, right arm out to the side, and I turn towards the left in pulse, and finish. We're going to spend about a minute practicing turns. You can do half turns, you can do full turns. 
whatever feels best for your body right now. If you're still having trouble with a half turn, work on that. If you're ready for a full turn, start doing those. If you're working on full turns, I want you to start trying to spot. That means looking for something. So I'm looking in front of me and right now, I have a door over there and I'm gonna look at that door handle. That's a nice spot I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna look at it as long as I can and then split my head around fast so I can see it. That way I know where the end of my turn is. I got a little wobbly on that one. Wasn't the best one. It's hard to talk while you do your turn. You're gonna keep going, spotting, looking for a spot. That's how you know your turn is over and you can step forward. For some of my Panthers, you might be ready to start trying full and a half or double turns. That's amazing. If you can, you can try that. I'll demonstrate a full and a half turn for you. So I'm lunging. All the steps are the same. I'm just up tight and tall. Whoops, that was a little too far. And following through. I forgot to figure out what I was in the spot. Turn and a half, I've got to find something on the opposite side of me. So there's a plant in the corner. That's what I'm going to look for if I'm doing half turn or turn and a half. And plant. And finish. Okay. Awesome. Hope you guys all got in some practice on those because they will be in your routine this week. All right, there's one more turn that I want to go over right now, which is going to be a swing kick turn. We do this on the balance beam usually. You take one leg, but you can do it on the floor, and you kick, brush the floor, and spin around. And it's really quite fun. So whatever your favorite leg is, you're going to kick with. I'm going to kick with my right. If you're a lefty, you do the opposite. So I'm starting with my opposite foot in front. So I'm a righty, so I'm starting actually with my left leg in front in a lunge. My arms will be out to the side. I'm going to kick my right leg up. Then my leg comes down, back through the middle. And as it goes behind me, I'm going to spin around so that I land back in a kick position. My foot that's pivoting is going to turn you're going to turn towards open hips. So if I'm on a facing you guys, so my leg kicks up, brushes, I open my hips, so I'm in like a little straddle shape, and then kick. If I tried to turn the other way, I'm going to get twisted. So it's pretty easy to tell which way is the right way. Let's give that a try. Kick and swing. I like to bring my arms up to crown after I swing my leg. Kick, swing, arms up, irrelevant. Just spin around. Bring your arms up, helps us spin quicker. They go from side to up. It also helps us keep our balance, okay? It helps us pull up tall so we get momentum to turn. Arms out, kick, swing, arms up, and around. Nice, let's try a couple more. Arms out, kick and swing. Whoop, I fell backwards, you might fall, it's okay. Try to stay on releve, that's gonna help you. We always wanna step forward out of our turns in gymnastics, we never step behind us to finish a turn. In dance class, if you take dance class, you might turn and land your turns by stepping forward and then back. Gymnastics is the opposite, we always step forward to turn and forward to finish. Let's try one more. Kick, kick, and step forward. Yeah, nice work, y'all. Very nice work. All right. Now if you need water, get that, and we're gonna move on to doing some leaps. Now you can find a pillow or a blanket to help you with this. We're gonna practice leaping over it. A lot of you, if you've been in class with me, know I love to leap over an object. It helps me make sure that I'm going forward. So we're gonna go step, step, leap, Landing in arabesque. Back leg is straight, front leg is bent, chest is up, I land here and I step forward. Always stepping forward out of our loops, okay? We're gonna warm up a few of those, practicing step, step, leap, step, step. Pick up your back leg nice and high. Whoops, I landed on my pillow that time. You wanna snap that back leg up. Good, good work. Let's do a few more. Step, step, leap. Good. Now, you can get rid of that pillow if you feel good with your leaps. If you're having trouble with your leaps, keep doing that. Now, for those of you that are feeling confident, we're going to start adding on to our leap. First thing we're going to add on is a straight jump. 
I know a lot of you have done this. You can make it a straddle, you can make it a tuck, you can make it a split jump if you're feeling ready for a challenge. So we're gonna leap, step together, and jump. Then we'll review some jumps we can add to this. So we're gonna go step, step, leap, together, jump. Nice, very good. Let's all try that two more times. Step, step, leap, together, jump. Arms are out sideways for our leap, then they come down and swing up to jump. Just like when we're doing jumps on the beam, when we do split jump, straight jump, right? Same thing here, split leap, straight jump. One more. Try to squeeze your knees, step, step, leap, jump. Nice, y'all, that was lovely. Let's review a few different jumps now, which you'll be able to add on to your leap, if you're working a leap series, or you can just practice as jumps, okay? So we're gonna kinda just do like one of each jump, y'all, or a couple, two of each jump. We'll do two of each jump that we're gonna try. Starting with straight jump, we're gonna review our arms, where they go, this is just an overview class. So arms down, bend your knees, they have to swing straight up by your ears, straight jump. And again, straight jump, come down to the side. Good. We like to bring our arms down to the side instead of down in front. Because if I bring my arms up and down this way, it encourages you to bring your chest down, which makes us fall down. So we swing our arms up and bring them down to the side because bringing them this way helps us remind us, helps remind us, oh, it's hard to talk sometimes, helps remind us to keep our chest up. Cool? All right, so we do our straight jumps. Now let's do tuck jumps. Tuck jumps have the same arm position as a straight jump. Here we go. Bend and jump. Knees come up to your belly in front. Toes are pointed down to the ground. You are not kicking your butt. And again. Very nice. Next up is going to be a jump half turn. Straight jump, half turn, same way, same arms as a straight jump. Up, jump, land. Do one more. Up, jump, land. Now, when I do a jump full turn, I like to use my arms a little bit differently. I am a righty, so my arms start the same way they do for my right turn. Instead of bend, arm in front, I make it straight. My arms are going to swing down and up. Down and up. That motion, you can see, helps twist my shoulders. Lefties will do the opposite. This way, down and up. Here, down and up. Let's try doing a jump full turn. So here, and we go. Nice! It's okay if you didn't make it. It's totally okay. Try your best. Now remember that spotting we talked about, where you look for something to find. I'm looking at my camera, recording this class, and I'm like, all right, I want to see my friends when I finish this jump. Here we go, jump in. Where are my friends? Ah! Oh no, I dropped my chest. Let's try those one more time because they're kind of tricky. Nice, your arms should be landing up high, right? And they come down to the side. Very good. All right, let's try a split jump. Okay, legs go forwards and backwards. Arms go down, out, down. That's it. And we bend and split jump. Boom. Two legs nice and straight. They snap out together real fast. One more time. Good. Now, I'm gonna show you a wolf jump. A wolf jump is half tuck jump, half split jump. Slash pipe jump. Kind of like tuck and pipe. All right, so. I'm a righty. My right foot's going to go out straight in front like this. My other leg is going to bend up like a tuck jump. So in the air, I want to look like this. Or it can look like this. Boop. Okay? You can kick your butt on a wolf jump. It's okay. But your knees should be together. And your arms go out in front and down like they would in a pipe jump. Here's what that looks like. One like that, one like straight. Lift it up nice and high. These are one of my personal favorite jumps. I just think they're a lot of fun. Let's try a couple. Try to land quietly. Try not to make your house shake. I'm making my house shake a little bit. One more. Nice. That was gorgeous. 
y'all. Gorgeous. We've already done straddle jumps in previous weeks. And we'll do one today anyway. All right, straddle or star jump, feet go up and close. One, two. I'm not gonna talk about that one because you know how to do it. All right, and that's it for today. Those are gonna be all the jumps for today. Now what I want you to do is I want you to pick a series to attempt now. A series can be two jumps or it can be a leap and a jump. I would encourage you to try a leap and a jump together because we don't try that as often and I know you've all tried two jumps together before. So pick out your favorite jump. Maybe start with a straight jump or a tuck jump, something simple. If you're feeling really brave, you can try a more challenging jump. Leap, step together, and jump. So I go step, step, leap together, straight jump. Good. We're gonna try it twice more. We're gonna give it three tries. Try three different jumps. My second one, I'm gonna try a split jump. Split leap, split jump. Step, step, leap, jump. That one's much harder. You can choose any jumps you want though. Remember friends, any jumps that feel good to you. Let's do one more. Here we go. Step, step, leap. I'm gonna do a wolf jump. Cause I love wolf jumps. Very good work y'all, very good work. That's awesome, love that. So, what we wanna start thinking about this week is how we can connect our dance moves together cause that's what we're gonna be doing on Wednesday. So practicing these leaps now is gonna make learning a routine on Wednesday easier. All right? And you can always practice different combinations of these moves that you think are fun. All right, they're really fun to put together in different orders. And they're also really like safe things to do at home, which is another lovely thing about dance moves. Um, one more leap I want to talk about is the hitch kick, which is quite fun. Hitch kick, we kick both our legs up in front of us. So step one to learning a hitch kick is kind of like our swing kick, but with a hop. So we're gonna swing kick, hop on one foot. I'm just give that a try, you can step into it. I like to take two steps, so I start with my right foot. I go right, left, kick, right, hop. My arms swing up by my ears. You know the drill now, right? Your arms swing up, that's how you jump. Now, a hitch kick, both legs kick. So I kick right and left, both in the air. I'll show you what that looks like. Cool? Why don't you give that a try? Big jump, try to kick both legs in the air. Keep both legs super straight, please. There we go. Nice. Give it a couple more tries. It's okay if you're falling, it's okay if you're struggling with it. Maybe yours looks like this. That's okay. You know, we're working on it. We're working towards a goal. I'm showing you a really big one so you can see what it looks like. It's okay if yours isn't very big yet, right? You're learning. It takes time, it takes practice. And then kick, kick. Excellent. That was delightful. That's another move that you can add after a leap. You could do split leap, step, hitch, kick. I don't have enough space for that in my house, but if you do, I would encourage you to try it because it's really, really fun. The last thing we're gonna review super duper quickly, because I only have one minute left of this class, is scales. There are three types of scales that we mainly use in gymnastics. A needle scale is one, which you may have heard me say when we're practicing T levers. Needle scale is my hands down, my leg up to the sky in a split position. That may not seem super exciting, but what is super exciting is some different skills that we can learn once we get really good at needles. So we have to be able to kick up and down quickly and in control, right? The needle scale is very versatile. That means you can use it for a lot of things. Like I can use it as a way to get on the ground. I can kick up my needle scale, and then I can hop down to my knees. So it's really good for different things. You should be practicing those on both legs. We practice those a lot when we do T-levers, so we're not gonna focus on them right this second. But I want you to remember that that is also a dance move that you can use. And we can use it to do some really cool advanced dance moves a little bit later once we're like, you know, 
That's what you get really good at. Um, the next kind of scale is an arabesque scale, right? That's when our leg is behind us in an arabesque, front leg straight, back leg straight. That's also our landing position for our leap, except that we use a plie with that front leg when we're landing because we don't want to hurt our knee. To do a true scale, we like to show different levels of our flexibility. So I start with my toe pointed and back, finding something to look at on the wall, lift it, hold, one, two, low arabesque, then lift it up as high as I can, one, two, and bring it down. If I'm feeling really fancy, I can also try that on my leve, which is really tricky. So I do a low one to warm up, I bring it up high, then I try to balance on one foot, on relevé, and then bring it down. Cool? That's a really nice thing to practice. You can also practice using the wall to help you balance. If you're having trouble balancing, and trying to get your leg up high. Your chest should not go to the ground. It's not a needle scale, that is different. Your chest has to stay up, and your back should be slightly arched. Cool? That's an arabesque scale. I implore you to practice some. Let's do one together. Leg back, toe pointed, lift it slightly. Hold one, two, lift it as high as you can. Hold one, two, bring it down. Sweet. All right, final scale that I wanna show you that you can practice at your house and that's super fun is a Y scale. Y scale, standing on one foot, bring your leg to passe, open, your hip, like we do on bounce beam, grab the bottom of your heel, and lift, whoops, I slipped, and lift it up into a standing split. Your arms are both up in a high B. Then you can bring it down, whoop, to a passe, and down to the ground. Nice, everybody try that, try that once. Grab it, find something to look at. Spotting something, looking at something that's not moving, helps you balance, and bring it down slowly. Thank you so much, friends, for joining me for this dance clinic today. I know we did a lot of things and we did them quite quickly. So thank you for keeping up, paying attention. I hope that you spend some time practicing these dance moves, picking your favorite ones to practice. And we'll see you back here on Wednesday for gymnastics floor routines and on Friday to try out a cheerleading routine. Have a marvelous day and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.